to get down and dirty with the Outlaws here at Gondick Law Speedway. We are ready to fire for 40 laps. They reach the VP Fuels making power point at turn number four. Green flag is out. This feature is underway and they're getting it across the line. Herb will now streak off into the lead. Larson will follow that second spot three wide for the number three spot. Shepard on the outside, the meat and the sandwich is mad and losing in that exchange was a 16 of Bruning. He falls back to fifth place. Lap number one will go to the one man band. Larson second, Shepard third. Down the back stretch they go. Steve Larson on the inside. Brandon Shepard on the outside. The battle for second continues as Dennis Herb Jr. shows the way. It was a six tenths of a second lead at lap number two. At lap number three, it is a full second lead for Dennis Herb Jr. Shepard down to the outside of Larson will take over second and dispatch him down the back stretch. He's taken third away from Larson for the moment. Shepard's in second. This is a movie we have seen on a rerun in syndication race after race after race. Shepard just finishing ahead of Chris. Back. Well, Madden right now is in a battle with Larson for the third and final podium spot. So we'll see if, in fact, the 44 can steer clear of the 519. It's been a little bit of a struggle right now for the 44. As, like you said, Mark, Larson has the bottom figured out. He said he loves this racetrack, and it's just a matter of can the bottom stay there for him? That's going to be the question. Well, Steve's probably put as many laps in here as anyone out on the racetrack. And like I said, we've got a big race named after his dad. So he's been at this racetrack for 50 plus years. He knows it. Eight of 40 are in. We're one fifth of the way or 20% through this 40 lap main event. Well, and uh, I think the, the lower or the uh, lower part of the track is coming in a little bit here. Like you said, Steve Larson is stuck there and uh, he's having a good race. He just got passed, but. Watch him, watch Daryl Nelson. He's a master of the bottom of this racetrack, too. Dennis Herb Jr. got by the 11 D of McMahon, and then Shepard made a bonsai move in turn number four to also pass that car. Now he's got to work on Sam Mars, and we've got our first caution of the evening. Caution flag is out here at lap number 17. So green flag comes out, three laps shy of halfway. Dennis Herb Jr. will lead the field back to green. Chris Madden will look to the outside of Brandon Shepard for the second spot. Madden knows he needs to finish ahead of the one every night in order to get a shot at the championship. He's finished second in the points. He's finished third in the points. He's second right now. He's tired of that view. He's going to try and take second away from Shepard coming out of turn number four. Brandon Shepard strong, though, as Herb will lead two laps shy of halfway. It's going to be a good battle here for the last 22 laps. You can count on it. Moving up and down the track, and Madden trying the, the top and the bottom. But, well, Shepard may have found something. That team has been working on that one machine since Florida. And finally, Brandon Shepard will go to the lead. So Shepard will officially lead lap 24. Herb will answer back. This time, Shepard's able to hold him off. So maybe Brandon Shepard's Rocket XR1 is finally coming into its own. We'll have to wait and see as Herb tries to catch him to no avail out of turn number four. Shepard's showing the way. So the green flag is back out. We are once again underway here at Gondon Gloss Speedway as they fire off into turns one and two. Shepard will head down the back stretch with Madden in pursuit and it's a getting a little bit exciting as Giassi working right in front of Weiss who's working on the 16 of Bruning and all the while Chris Madden has caught the leader. Smokey Madden to the inside trying to take the lead away from Shepard. Nothing doing there. They'll battle down the back stretch. One and two in points running one and two in the Morton Buildings feature. Nine laps to go when they cross the line this time. High wide and handsome as Shepard as low as he can be. The short way around for Madden it pays off for Shepard as they both stay side by side in front of him. White flag the next time by. This is Madden's chance to give a shot to the one cars. Harry Hansen pulls up real high and wide and opened up the door for the leaders. Hansen is slow. We'll see if we're able to finish this. And we are caution with two to go. It has just gotten real. The Shepard comes inauspiciously low for the green flag. White flag the next time by. And now to the inside goes Matt. To the outside Shepard. They both take the line they like. Out of turn number two, Shepard by a car length and a half as they head down the back stretch. And all the while, Bruning is closing in on Herb for a podium spot. White flag will wave this time. Way up the bank and goes Shepard. On the bottom comes Chris Smokey. Madden, he's trying to draw alongside. Doesn't have enough momentum at the white flag. This time, he'll throw it hard into turn number one. He'll slide up into turn two. Comes up short. Down the back stretch, they drag race into three. We have got a barn burner building right here in turn three and four. Up the bank and goes Shepard. On the bottom comes Chris Smokey. Madden at the line. Checkered flag, Shepard wins, Shepard wins, Shepard wins. As he climbs out of the car, Brandon Shepard 
your winner here at Gondick Law Speedway. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws series event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, highlights, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.